What's up, everybody? It's your boy me here for breakfast. Um. Oh, I had an omelet. I had an omelet and a little bit of coffee for breakfast. For lunch, I uh, I guess for brunch I had um, a few slices of pizza. I think four slices of pizza and some full tail ice cream. Um, you know, that CD right there sort of looks like one of the draft covers for Kanye West's single, All Day, where it's sort of vacuum sealed and it says St. Pablo, but it's sort of rocky, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, so from the camera angle, that, that's sort of what um, that CD looks like. Um, I'm just hanging out today. Um, I woke up at 8, um, but then I was evil. I was evil. Um, I woke up at 8 and then I exercised. Halfway through exercising, my mom was like, hey, I made a mushroom omelet. Do you want an omelet? So I was like, sure. So I went to the kitchen, went upstairs, went to the kitchen, had some coffee, made an omelet, and I went back down the stairs, finished my last couple miles. Um, then I took a shower. No, I sort of just walked around my house for a while. Yeah, I sort of just walked around my house for a while on my phone, just texting people, hanging out. I applied for the Chase Freedom Unlimited. Um, my dad added me as an as an authorized user on his Discover card, and he's had the Discover card for about 12 years. Something nice about, um, you know, someone adding you as an authorized user on their long credit history credit card is that you inherit, inherit their credit history. So now I have, um, I think, a four-year credit history because it's the, um, sorry, I've had two credit cards for about four months, five months, um, and then that, so it's two five-month-old cards and then one 12-year-old card, so that balances out to four years, about. Um, and so, um, because of me now having a four-year credit limit and having something like a 13, no, a four-year credit history and something like a, a like a $14,000 credit limit, um, which I don't get the authorized user card, I, I got it and I told my dad to put it in a drawer or something because I'm not going to spend on his card like a crazy person. Uh, but because I now have such a high credit limit, relatively, and a um, higher um, credit age, I'm able to apply for the Chase Freedom Unlimited. And the nice thing about the Chase, well, the thing about the Chase Freedom Unlimited card is that you need one year of credit history to apply for it. Um, and there's this really good um, invite only, not <laughs> invite only, you have to get a link online to it. Uh, but there's a really good sign-up bonus for double cashback on the Chase Freedom Unlimited. Uh, and the... I forgot the exact terms. But, um... Yeah, so you get, um... You get this $200 bonus, which isn't the sign-up bonus I'm going for, but you get one and a half... Oh my god, no, just tell me the... Oh yeah, here it is. So, you get one and a half cash back on all purchases, uh, and then 3% cash back on dining um, and drugstores, and 5% cash back on travel book through Chase. Uh, but the really nice thing about the sign-up bonus is that it doubles all of it. So for a year, it's 3% cash back um, on all purchases, 6% cash back on dining and drugstores, and 10% cash back on travel book through Chase. And that's really, really incredible. Um, you know, I'm not really, I don't know, I'm not planning on spending too much for the next year, but, um, you know, when I do, um, it'll be nice to have a catch-all card where if I don't have something set up with PayPal, which is 3% cash back on my PayPal card, I can go for the 3% cash back just through my Freedom Unlimited. So no matter what, I'm getting unlimited cash back. And uh, right now, except for the rotating categories, there's kind of no reason to use my Discover card. Actually, what's the um, quarterly category on my Discover card right now? <laughs> um, one sec. Oh yeah, it's restaurants and drugstores. So I get 5% cash back on restaurants and drugstores on my Discover card, so there's kind of no, there is reason to use the restaurants and drugstores on the Freedom Unlimited card because I get 6% cash back because it's double 3%. Um, but on... Yeah, so...
Yeah, I, there's kind of no reason to use my Discover card right now, which is kind of crazy. Have they announced next quarter's... <sighs> they haven't announced next quarter's thing. Oh, well. The reason why I'm getting a Chase card so early is because of the 524 rule. Um, if you apply for a Chase credit card and you've had more than five hard credit inquiries in the past 24 months, uh, you're automatically denied. And I've had three credit inquiries. No, two. Two credit inquiries in the past um, 24 months. So uh, the plan is to... You know, I already did this the Discover card and the PayPal card, but for number three, I'm going to go for the Freedom Unlimited. I'm going to go for the Freedom Flex. Uh, and then I think I might go for the Fidelity card. Um, and then I think after that, I'm going to go for the Bill card. And that's the plan right now. Um, and the Bill card is just, and then in the future, eventually, when I um, have to pay rent, I already have the Bill card to get 1% cash back on rent. Um, and of course, you know, on the Freedom Unlimited, uh, the cashback is in the form of points, so it's kind of, I think it's one cent per point, um, which is cool. I'm not going to be redeeming it for cashback. Um, the nice thing about the Freedom Unlimited is you can um, use it with the Freedom Flex and the Freedom, either Sapphire Reserve or the Sapphire Preferred. You can choose either one. It's called the Chase Trifecta. Uh, and the whole thing behind it is that um, I'm pretty sure the Freedom Unlimited has some pretty good transfer bonuses if you do the Sapphire Preferred. Uh, it's just that the Sapphire Preserve, Preferred or the Sapphire Reserve, they have um, annual fees. And I sort of... I, why, why would I use a credit card for, with an annual fee at 18 years old when I'm not going to travel anywhere to my 20s? And that's in like two years, you know? And even that, I'm not going to travel when I'm 20 years old. Like, I'm, it's just, it's, it's crazy to me. Um, so I, I'm not going to be like chase maxing, you know, anytime soon, but, you know, it's a good start, and because of the 524 rule, it's good to get my chase cards now, my non-annual fee chase cards, so that's the plan right now, uh, so, anyway, I applied, they're like, okay, we'll get back to you, but also, we need some more information, uh, send us your ID, and I was like, okay, maybe that's not a good sign, but I was like, okay, so I sent them my ID, um, and now I'm waiting, uh, we'll see how it turns out, I guess. I'm a little spooked because they asked for my ID. Um, I mean, what can you do, really? Um, I, I, I can call their reconsideration line if I get denied because I would hate to take a hard inquiry just to get denied on something, but, um, you know, I now have a four-year credit history and I have um, a... What? What? I have a four-year credit history and I have a... such a relatively high credit limit. They have kind of no reason to deny me, but we'll see. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh yeah, so anyway, after that, after I applied for the Chase Freedom Unlimited, um, uh, I kind of just procrastinated some more. I ended up not working on any of my work. Um, and we went to this pizza place, this new pizza place that opened um, at a local strip mall. Not the local strip mall that I used to work at that I talk about, but another one. Um, and it's this pizza place, they have like New York style pizza, and it was really tasty. It was super, super crazy floppy, and the dough was really thin. Uh, and that makes it sound bad. I mean, I wish it was less floppy and less thin, but it was still really good pizza. Like it, it was, um, you know, rather expensive pizza, and it was, it was good, you know? I wouldn't say it was worth the price, but I don't think any food dining out was worth the price, really. Um, it, it, was, it was good pizza, you know? And it, I wasn't complaining about it. It was very tasty. Um, and we got that. And the reason why is because tomorrow it's my dad's birthday. But my dad is, and my dad and my mom is going to be in Las Vegas tomorrow and for all of next week because they're um, doing their thing. They're seeing their families. So, and technically my family, but I don't want to go. Um, I love my extended family, but I don't love Las Vegas. <laughs> you know, uh, it's not my thing. And um, I think. I don't think I can gamble yet. I know I can gamble on uh, Indian reservations in Washington, but because um, I'm 18. But uh, even if I were 21, I wouldn't want to gamble in Las Vegas. I feel like I have a pretty addictive personality, just from you know past experiences of mine, and um, it just doesn't. It's gambling is just statistically a very good way to lose money, and it's not something I'm interested in, so I, I, I don't see myself, you know, really going to Vegas all that much in the future, but, um, you know, 
God forbid, you know, if an extended family member dies or something, I'd have to go. But, and, and you know, then I'm not really complaining, right? Because you've got to go. But, um, you know, I'm not super interested in Vegas. Um, but, what? Um, yeah, so we got pizza, and then after that, my mom was like, do you want to go to Full Tilt? She was asking my dad, and we can split a cone or something, and Leo can get a cone. And I, you know, of course, I was very supportive to get ice cream, because I want ice cream, you know, especially from an ice cream place, which has the best ice cream. Uh, so, you know, we show up, my parents end up just not getting ice cream. I, I you know, they, they just didn't get any ice cream, so I got this vegan cookie dough. Uh, the lady there was so nice, just phenomenal customer service. Um, and the nice thing, the, the, the really nice thing is that um, I asked for the cookie dough, uh, but it was like vegan cookie dough. And she was like, well, it's vegan cookie dough, so you should like have a taste before you try it, because it had that taste like coconut, because uh, they used like some coconut stuff in it to make it vegan. Um, and I tried it, and it did kind of, <laughs> it was like coconut ice cream, right? Um, with uh, some like chunks in it that were cookie dough. Um, and you know, it was good. Like, it, it, you know, it wasn't like what I was expecting when I was hearing about cookie dough, but um, it was definitely good ice cream, and I didn't really want much else, so um, I had it, and it was, it was tasty. I got a scoop. It was good. Um, yeah, no complaints. Uh, yeah, so we went out and ate, um, and you know, then I came back. Luckily, work was really easy today, my schoolwork. Um, I've been trying to do a module every day, except for one day where I'm gonna have to do two modules. I don't know when I'm gonna do the two modules, but we'll see. Um, and today was just processor troubleshooting, and it was so, so, so easy. Um, it was just um, processor troubleshooting, uh, processor troubleshooting, troubleshoot processor installation, troubleshoot processor installation, and practice questions. It was these five things, as opposed to like how it normally is, where it's like all this stuff, and it's sort of horrifying. Um, th th this was nice. It was like a little break. Um, and it was great. I was worried delaying my work so much that I would have a whole lot of work to do, but it ended up being fine. So um, yeah, I'm just hanging out today and. Uh, I had a pretty good day today, and I'm happy that tomorrow my parents are going to be just out of the house. Uh, which, you know, uh, I love my parents, but it's certainly nice to be home alone, and you feel like a, like a bachelor of sorts. Um, <laughs> um, one sec. Okay, yeah, I am a bachelor. Okay, yeah, all right, see you, dude.